In this video, I use mods in College Square to show what it might look like if pre-war college students in Boston bother to pick up after themselves as we continue our quest to clean up the Commonwealth. Vault dwellers of all ages and settlement builders at all stages, it is I, Diamond Dave, I do videos. Okay, today, as you probably could tell by the intro of this video, uh, I'm using mods to clean up the uh, Cambridge College Center area. That's right, this whole area <laughs> that was once a, once a thriving college town is going to be clean and pristine. And I will be announcing my upcoming video near the end of this one, so... Without further ado, let's get building. This is the uh, SKK Mobile Workshop, I believe is the name of the mod. Uh, I will put that in the description down below. But in the meantime, we are going to follow the line of questioning, or rather the question posed at the start of the video. And that is, what would this place look like if college students can clean up? after themselves ladies and gentlemen also be sure to hit that like subscribe and bell notification button uh also let's uh before i continue let's just do a uh let's just do a quick save let's do a quick save because this is gonna be this is gonna be fun there's ghouls everywhere we've had to dispatch prior to the beginning of this video i thought i got rid of them all but apparently they came back uh you guys know how it is. Ghouls. Ghouls love a good uh, college party. Ghouls love a good college party. Who doesn't love a good college party, honestly? I I'm always down for one of those. Now, keep in mind... Uh, uh, excuse... What is this? Okay, well, that, that was uh, interesting. Now, keep in mind, we may have to do some quick saving and quick loading. Eh, eh, go away. Always interrupting my videos. But we may have to do some quick saving and quick loading just because of the uh, fun entity things happening. We've got so much garbage everywhere. This place, not gonna lie, I, I, I live in a college town and uh, they're great people. They really are. But uh, I, I would not be surprised if uh, this place was a mess before the bombs dropped i i maybe all this trash was here before who knows but uh let's just come around here that vehicles are moving on their own bethesda we love you we love bethesda bugs here all right let's get let's try and uh did i get these I can get this. Why, why, why are college kids like mounting heads on uh on poles? That's that's kind of what. That's uh I think I think that's a question that should be asked. Fallout Four is just a uh, wild place. Even before the bombs drop, check out the lore that is here as well. Uh, because you will find that there have been raiders that once lived here that were overrun. They set up shop and they did not make it. We'll leave the, uh, Greeb here, I think. Uh, this guy, this guy had a little bit too much to drink. <laughs> Hanging off the ceiling here. He, he had a little, he had a little bit too much to drink. Alright. Now, we're gonna... I think try and scrap a lot of this if possible. And I think I just have to disable the ropes because for uh, some reason the ropes won't scrap themselves. And that's that's fine. Uh, we will clean this place up. And I know it's been a while since I did a bit building video. I think you guys are going to like the location that I picked using the mod that uh, will let me literally build anywhere. And I mean anywhere. I think you guys are going to like it because that's not only going to be a scrapping video, but we're going to turn it into a player home. And I'll give you a hint. This location is for 
evil characters. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We all have done playthroughs of the Minutemen, the Brotherhood of Steel, the Railroad, and, uh... I mean, it's not bad. You know, those aren't really bad factions. But I think, in a post-apocalyptic world, there, uh, there might be more going on than just the uh, protagonist being a good guy. Nate and Nora did lose their child at the beginning of the game, after all. So, what if they ended up becoming evil? That player home is going to be dedicated to that. I'm excited. I can't wait. Uh, I whoever whoever told me about the uh, settlement building everywhere mods. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all. This is uh, <laughs> this is gonna be great. I am literally gonna be cleaning up the Commonwealth. I'm gonna be building up the Commonwealth, and we will be going back to Nuka World. I promise, because I still have stuff to build. Uh, yeah. Let's just clean up at least some of this. My goodness. This is this is insane. Look at this mess. Alright, so we can clean up the debris. We'll leave a little bit of post-apocalyptic flair, at least until we uh, decide to wander back here and uh, clean like actually rebuild this place into a functional settlement this is just a scrapping video to tide you guys over i uh i'm believe it or not i know it doesn't sound like it i'm actually not feeling the greatest uh there's a ghoul here go away uh i'm not feeling the greatest i took today off of work to make this video uh i don't i don't have anything serious it's i might have just caught a bug from somebody at work you guys know how it goes so i took today off of work just to uh rest i slept 10 hours i'm feeling i'm feeling okay i think but we gotta we got videos to make still so that's why i'm just making a quick little video for you guys so that way you have some quality entertainment until i am much better and i can get cracking on my player home there's, uh, destroyed air conditioners. We'll leave that. We'll leave a lot of this here. Let's, uh, leave this alone for now. Uh, excuse you. Put some clothes on, sir. My goodness. I get this as a college town, but you guys. You guys. Come on. Now, um, hmm. This is going to be a little bit interesting, just because I kind of want to clean this place up a little bit. So, there is some uh, goodies over here. If you hop over here. I did collect, like, the cap stash and most of the stuff over here, but there is uh, 10 millimeter rounds as well. So, make sure you guys uh, pick this up, too. Uh, this is a weak tra uh, plank trap. Try saying that 10 times fast. But yeah, this is uh <laughs> this is kind of what you'd expect from the Fallout universe. Now, even though this is not uh gonna be my next video, I do say I do kind of want to tackle uh DB Technical High School and Shaw High School and the other like interiors as well. Super Duper Mart, Watts Electronics. I think I think we have. I think this mod is good enough for us to... I'm going to pick this stuff up later. Look at this. This is this is like a trap house. Goodness gracious. Pre-war trap house. Gotta love it. But yeah, I think we've got enough, uh, enough of some good mods to add as well as some more mod suggestions by my lovely subscribers and channel members down in the comments to where we can actually undertake the biggest fallout 4 project i personally haven't seen done where we turn every location into a settlement and we completely overhaul the commonwealth down to the trees that's gonna be i think that's gonna be our goal 
a worthy goal for us to uh, strive towards. We can clean all this up. This could be like a little hotel area, I think. Now, this whole thing here, we're going to get rid of. So we're going to go back. Uh, well, let's get rid of this noise here first. All right. We've got destroyed air conditioners everywhere. Let's get rid of the uh, Raider garbage. If if possible. There's so much like itty bitty little things that make up these Raider builds that on the one hand is cool. On the other hand, I just uh, blew up a whole building and didn't even realize it. Excellent. All right. Well, we love happy accidents here. This is just a happy accident. That's fine. It's fine. Not the end of the world, guys. Like, uh... This is, this is okay. We will just, uh, we'll just work with it. We'll just work with it, right? Because, I mean, who needs buildings anyway in Fallout 4, right? We don't need those. We're good. All right. That being said, we'll get the trash out of here. How was I able to scrap a whole building? Scrap every... Uh, so be careful with scrap everything, guys. That's that's uh, that's kind of wild. We'll leave the trees here. Uh, these are a natural part of the environment. We'll get rid of the ghoul. Alright. And I think we will start to blow up this stuff for the time being. Because when I come back to make this settlement outside of my other projects... Uh, we can create our own ways up and down. Look at, look at all this steel we're getting. Look at all the steel we are getting. We got ghoul ambushes in here. And then we'll get rid of this. Alright, I just don't want anything floating in the sky, but, alright, so we've got, uh, we got that building taken care of, I guess. We love happy accidents on this channel, no matter what your skill level is, if you're like me and you're just, you know, slowly getting back into the Fallout universe, uh, or if you're some, like, some of my followers are amazing builders and have amazing suggestions, uh, make sure you guys check the comments, by the way. Because a lot of people that comment really give me some great ideas. And they also uh, have their own experiences. A lot of great builders. A lot of great modders. I am, I'm, I'm proud to be a part of this community, guys. But, like I was saying before, regardless of your skill level, everyone's welcome here. And even if you don't play Fallout 4, I just hope you guys enjoy the... Uh, the videos, whether we are scrapping things or if you like my builds, I appreciate you all for being here. Let's uh, let's get this trash out of here, and I think we're gonna quick bounce out. This is gonna be a great time to uh, shoot a magazine. Apparently, we'll we'll pick up the stuff individually. And keep bringing out her weapon just because I get a little, I get a little happy. You know what I mean? You can't, you can never be too careful in the Commonwealth. All right. So that being said, we'll pick up all the individual items. And then now we will scrap this little area and then head back outside. So bada bing. Uh, let's not do that. Trash. And we'll get rid of these magazine racks, although that is a nifty idea to have some full, find a mob with full magazine racks and stick them outside. Really turn this place into a thriving college center. Get rid of all this for now. I miss this guy over here. You need to go away, as do you. All right. Now, walking along the streets, uh, we'll clean out the inside of this building. Good lord, what happened here? This must have been one heck of a party. 
Look at all the... <laughs> look at all this. Look at... Yeah, we can pick that individual stuff up later. We will uh, get rid of the skeletons. This... Uh, I don't know. I don't feel like going to a house party with skeletons on the floor. Maybe the best venue, but I mean, hey, put down your suggestions in the comments, guys. I would love to know your thoughts. Would you go to a college party here? Uh, we got a leftover party person who's going to get scrapped and turn into something uh, useful. Yeah, this is... Uh, this looks like what could have been an apartment would be my guess. And there's a door that goes to the outside. We'll just we'll just scrap kind of inside the center for the time being. This is uh, definitely a house of enjoyment. There's general clutter again. All right, this is going to be easy to rebuild. I, I I look forward to actually rebuilding this because I could just duplicate the building roofs and then and the walls and then just bring them over. This is going to be a very simple way for me to practice spawning duplicates with the console command and uh, do it in a controlled environment. We'll leave, uh, we'll leave, uh, we'll leave some of this stuff here. We'll get rid of the... Uh, I think we'll get rid of the filing cabinets, honestly. Actually, I have another idea. Weigh in on the comment section below because what if I turn Corvega assembly plant into a settlement? Like the inside. Let me know what you think, because that's been also that's also been on my radar, guys. The Corvega assembly plant. That is gonna be a fun place to do. And we can explore the lore together. This this does not spark joy. That that that's gonna somebody fell through the floor. It looks like because there's no actual. It's just layers. It's just plywood over metal. My goodness, I guarantee you somebody fell through this at least once before the war. Uh, we'll get rid of the general clutter, and we'll get rid of all the debris and all the papers you like this all right and then we head up the stairs the tables hanging over the sides of things this is this is kind of insane yo somebody uh yeah somebody partied a little too hard there we go we'll, we'll just get rid of him rest in peace buddy Glad you went out with a smile on your face. We'll come over here and we will, uh... Let's see, I don't want to go too terribly far away. Alright, and I guess we can get this little bit of trash up since we're over here. Don't want to wander too far away from the, uh... From the center of activity itself we'll make our way over here visitors center suffer damage from the attack i really should uh go back to a lot of these settlements and finish them i've got an entire list of things to do two story oh, come on <laughs> let's go <laughs> Look at, look at all these uh, ropes and things that we get to uh, disable. So let's just uh, disable the internet cablas here. Alright, there we go. I'll disable the cabla. If I can click on it. There we go. There we go. Okay. And then we'll get this hedge out of here. 
these hedges out of here, there's two, apparently. Now, it looks like there's some type of uh, cable system going on here. I don't know. I don't know what this is supposed to do. But that's, that's okay. We'll get rid of the sandbag walls and we will... go about our day, I guess. Alright, so we'll get rid of the cam chimes and the trash. Uh, we'll knock out this since we're right here. We got some pre-war propaganda on the, uh, on the right here. The walls have eyes. Yes. And we've discovered some greebs. We love Greebs on this channel. There's, uh, if you're new to the channel, there's an entire running, like, trope about Greebs. So just, just bear with me. We're gonna do a quick save, and now we're gonna... Hopefully not break the game. Can I actually get back over? Do I have to get back over with this mod? I think I do. I think I have to actually wander back over here and workshop. There we go. Alright, this is how we do that, apparently. Well, we, uh, we missed a spot. There's a racetrack advertisement. We will, uh, look at that here. We will look at that here, because it's been a while... Easy City Downs. Total purse, 450,000 US dollars. Awesome. We'll take it. Because we made a settlement at the Easy City Downs. That's right, we did. Go ahead and check out that video. And, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll... I'll get rid of these posters. I'll get rid of the silly posters and these, these two. And then we're gonna knock out the trash and make our way back to the, uh, to the building. Which is gonna be here. We'll leave the grass mound because that is uh, part of the environment. All right, now we're gonna step our way back in here and it looks like we can scrap the whole building, guys. This is, this is not gonna be fun. We'll get rid of the window boards. And we're very carefully gonna navigate, navigate this somehow. We'll scrap the uh, plastic bins like so. I'll get rid of you. And we'll get rid of these uh, plywood doors, I think, as well. Alright, so this is a lot more... Can I... Oh, alright. We'll, we'll scrap the uh, stools as well, I think. Maybe. These ones are fine. All right, and we'll come up here. We found another, we found another person who partied just a little bit too hard. We can see evidence of uh, beverages consumed. 
get rid of the sleeping bag. And it looks like these are on top of this. Let's go up here. And this is where we're going to do something a little bit different. I think we're going to scrap the entire thing up here. Right? So what we're going to do is we are going to... Actually, when I get around to it, we're going to rebuild this entire thing with brick walls and ceilings and all that jazz. This bed can definitely go away. Uh, so can this. There we go. We'll get rid of all of these things. And we'll make our way over here and very carefully... We will get rid of these guys, like so. Perfect. All right, so this uh, this whole thing up here is gonna go away. And I'm gonna hopefully, there we go. Okay, moving right along. This is a uh, raider up here, Rika. Which I... The game froze. Give me one second here. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. So, it turns out that uh, scrapping Rika, the uh, raider at the top of the uh, College Cambridge Center, uh... <laughs> way up there actually crashes the game uh when you use the uh mobile the skk mobile workshop so keep that in mind i had to go back to a uh the very beginning because for some reason the quick save didn't take so that is the bad news i had to go back and rescrap everything we already done the good news is i was able to save this building so no happy accidents here this building is still here for now uh that being said we have a couple more areas to finish up together uh let's just double check we did that area i have to remember everything i do need to scrap the top of this bad boy there are a couple containers up here so let's just build a uh wooden stairs let's build wooden stairs let's just get to the top of this We'll just get to the top of this and we will very carefully scrap the sandbags that are up here. This is a fun place if you want to come up here to uh, make into a sniper position. We just scrapped a combat rifle. Uh, I think I will leave this like this. Uh, well, will I? Will I not? Um, you know what? No, I think I'm gonna do my best when I build this place to just repair the buildings themselves. So we're not gonna have anything uh, silly chilling out on the rooftops. We do have a couple more places to scrap together. We do have a little delicatessen over here and a little building. I think I did that one actually. We will see, but we do have a little delicatessen here that I did not get to, I don't think, in my video. And if I did, I apologize. So what we're going to do is, uh, well, there's a gas explosion trap here. And uh, there's a bathroom here. Look at, uh, look at this. This is one clean college town, ladies and gentlemen. One clean college town. Now, since we will be turning this into a settlement, there will be, uh, be a little bit of some overhauls done. I think I will get rid of these benches and uh, put down my own so settlers will actually sit in them. Sometimes they do sit in them, sometimes they don't. 
But with that being said, we'll get these stools out of the way. We'll get the diner counters out of the way. Uh, you know what? I kind of think we can leave this little spot as is. Maybe we do want that cooking oil to scrap. That is for sure. Metal dinner plate. Uh, we can store that guy. And all right. So despite the little blood all a little bit of blood all over the place um i think this is uh this is actually kind of good as is maybe you know what we'll just scrap it all we'll just scrap it all because i can put down my own other mods like shadow flights decor pack this is gonna be amazing to put here like so yeah we could put some stuff in here there'll be a bathroom here we could even repair this wall uh, what else did we not get to? We got down there. We got I got this area knocked out, which I think I did in the past video. If I jumped the gun and did that and uh, did not get it in the video, I apologize. But dance is right down there, actually. Dance is uh, right down the uh, right down the road for those of you who want to do the Brotherhood of Steel quests. And then over here, the final building that we have to do is a uh it's like an appliance store of some kind maybe probably college students do need to do their uh laundry in the pre-war world i suppose so that does uh make sense oh my goodness how many of these things are there there we go there we go. Visitor's Center. Suffer damage from the attack. Well, what? Why? Why is this here? That's uh, bleeding through from the wall there. And we will just clean up accordingly. I have to disable this too wow there's uh there's a lot of stuff here that was not meant this place was definitely not meant to be a settlement guys but that's okay that's why we use mods and that's why we tolerate happy accidents they make the game excuse me what was that weird um anyway they make the game more fun now i'm gonna just pick those individual things up oh it looks like we can get over here so this is nice uh oh this is where all this is coming over from now we could just open up the door let's <laughs> just open up the door okay well let's uh we will get rid of uh these shelves and we will put down more shelves when we uh, get to that point. There's, uh... Oh, it looks like I tripped a handmade tripwire somehow. That's okay. We'll get rid of these plywood doors. Open up the building a little bit. And we will just uh, continue on our day here. We'll just continue. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification button. And I'd like to take this time to invite you to consider, consider, I can't talk today, becoming a channel member. Channel members get unique emotes and access to videos early before they drop. They also get cool channel badges that are custom made along with a wide variety of other perks check it out guys i regardless of how you choose to support me i'm just glad you guys are here you guys make me happy each and every one of you and i thank you all for helping me reach over 1100 followers i don't even know where we're at right now i i am busy scrapping i have no idea where we're at but wherever we're at thank you you guys help me get me here now we're gonna just quickly and efficiently pick up these little individual items so it's nice and uh clean then we will do a quick save because i don't need anything else breaking right now and we will hopefully get back into the workshop here 
Sometimes you have to run down to the thing I noticed, other times you don't. So I don't know if that's a bug because of this area that we're in or if it's just due to location where we're at help me out guys let me know in the comment section if you know the skk mobile mod whatever it's called i'll put it in the description let me know what could cause that to uh to happen now this is another building we can practice our repair skills on at a later point but that's not going to be today. You know why? Because I did tell you in the beginning of the video, I was going to announce the player home for evil characters. And ladies and gentlemen, the next video will be Pikmin's Gallery. Pat yourself on the back if you guys did in fact think of that on your own. Congratulations. And if you waited until I told you and then you said you knew it all along, well, congratulations too. Awesome. Can I get can I get this trash? I I can get this trash. Excellent. All right. Now we're going to now we're going to drop down here because apparently we have a lot of garbage to clean up over here. Look at this. I'm excited to do Pitman's Gallery and turn it into a player home for evil characters. There's there's a lot of good characters out there and that's all well and good, but you know what? This is a role-playing game, and I, I'm i role-playing out in Nora that's uh, kind of went off the deep end a little bit. Blew up the Institute, did not... <laughs> blew up the Institute, did not join the Institute. Blew up uh, the Dark bro or the dark Brotherhood of Steel, guys. Yes, we I play Skyrim as well. We uh, made enemies with the Brotherhood of Steel. We sided uh, with the Minutemen just so we could... Uh, really make caps off the settlers we did it for fame and for glory and yeah we we're, we're, we're doing that so this area is uh clean let's pick this up you gotta have fun with role-playing games guys i'm i i don't know i personally think it gets a little old when everyone uh plays a good character or more specifically when the game railroads us into being a good character. We don't really get a lot of options otherwise. Doing a once over, it looks like we are done. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. As always, I'm Diamond Dave, and I will see you next time.